Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 28 for our 40 gate firewall series. In this video, we are going to see how we are going to upgrade HA cluster for 40 gate. So in this video, we are going to cover how to upgrade 40 gate HA pair. What are the steps that it goes through during the process? Okay. And what are the downtime will be there, which we are going to cover as well in the steps because that is most important because when you do any upgrade in production, you have to be sure about the downtime. Okay. And also how we are going to verify the configuration and either the upgrade it successfully, whether both the HAs are working properly or not. We, how we are going to uh, verify, we are going to see in this video. Okay. So I'll request you and also recommends you to please watch this video till the end so that because you will be finding the HAPR in most of the organizations so it's better to know about the concept as well as applying that particular concept to real time and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started So friends, now we'll understand how to upgrade the FortiGate HA pair as well as what are the steps it goes through during the process, right? So this is the theory part that we are going to understand right now. And before we get into the details of how, what are the steps and how to do that, let me tell you that I have created a very detailed video on high availability HA, how to create a cluster, how to configure FortiGate. You can check that out video on this i button. You can click on i button or else you can check the description box as well. I have covered both the scenarios active passive as well as active active. So in this lab, I have already configured the HA part. The only thing that we are going to do is we are going to perform the upgrade. That's all. Okay. So I will recommend you guys to please watch my that i button video before if you are not sure how to configure h and what is h okay so now we'll understand how we are going to upgrade the FortiGate h pair and what are the steps that goes during the process okay so for an example let's let's suppose this is a active device and this is passive device okay now this active device and the passive device are basically in the HA and they are checking each other that they are alive or not. So all the process are okay and they are synchronized. The configuration are synchronized basically. So you will be getting the GUI for what you will be getting the GUI for active or the primary box, right? Not the secondary box. So you will not be getting the GUI until and unless you go for reservation of that particular management interface or the port, right? So let's say you have logged into this, basically this UI. Okay. Now what you have to do is you, let's say they are running 7.0.1. Okay. This is also 7.0.1. Now you have planned to upgrade to 7.0.5 and also this one to 7.0.5. So in this case, what happens is you will be putting that particular image here. Now you have to follow that particular steps, which yesterday or in the last video I have told. Okay. What in the previous video, what I have mentioned. First of all, you have to understand what, what is the upgrade path that you have to follow. So upgrade path that you have to go through, right? The second point that is you have to go through the release notes. What are the fixes happened? What is the well-known bugs? All those things you have to go through release notes. Once you are good, you take a backup meaning that you plan to upgrade okay first you have to decide where you have to upgrade then you have to go through the release notes then you start taking the backup of the configuration locally as well as externally okay now after doing all this 
now you have planned that my upgrade path should be like this i have to go first 7.0.5 and 7.0.5 so what you have to do is first you are going to put that particular image to primary box okay so you are going to upload 0. Uh, 7.0.5 to the primary box okay now primary box will send that image to the secondary box basically okay and secondary box starts upgrading himself first okay after it upgrades the secondary uh, secondary box will acknowledge the primary box that i am done with my upgrade you, you please uh, process yourself to upgrade okay now this primary box will go down basically it goes for a reboot process and this device will become primary and once he comes back he will become secondary okay now if you have activated that override uh, the active override i if i am not remembering properly the term so basically the preempt if you know about the preemption so if you have not enabled the active override what happens is he it will be there in the secondary state and he will become the primary if you activate it again he will become active and he will become secondary so once you upgrade the image you don't need to worry about what is happening inside the box fortigate will take care of that particularly by himself he will do it first the secondary will happen secondary will acknowledge then the primary will go for upgrade process and the traffic will be basically the sessions are basically copied to each other so that there will be no problem for the user only the application sensitive data will be affected for that reason you have to acknowledge the downtime that it will take for 30 minutes to perform that particular task okay you you have to uh, basically calculate the timing based on how many paths that you have to go let's say from here you have to go to 10 then you have to go to uh, 2.1 then you have to go to 7.2.1 so how many reboots that is happened uh, will be happening to the device accordingly you have to calculate the downtime and you have to uh, inform your clients regarding that okay so now what we are going to do is we'll hit the lab and we'll try to upgrade to the primary and we'll see in the console whether the secondary is getting rebooted first or the primary will get rebooted first so this will clear uh, this will clear up our understanding what is going uh, behind the scene okay so let's get into the lab now so friends let's move on to the lab now uh, so this is the topology that we have taken for our uh, high availability lab okay where we have configured the HA clusters let me explain you about the lab this is port 1 uh, for both the firewalls which is connected to our local pc to manage the firewalls port 3 is connected through wan port 2 is dedicated for lan and ha is port number 4 only one port that we have dedicated for ha we have not used the secondary port okay now uh, i have already configured the ha configuration even the uh, initial ip configuration i've already done it okay so what we have to do is i just need to upgrade the device let me show you the status of it okay so as you can see the ha is already synchronized the priority the higher priority will become the primary uh, firewall so right now as you can see the 50a is primary and i80 is a secondary one okay so what i'm going to do is right now the fortigate is running 7.0.0 we will be upgrading to version which is 7.0.5 okay so this is how we are going to upgrade this is the version the target is okay 
I'm not going through release notes right now because it's a lab so I'm not uh, going to ch check what is happening we just need to understand how things are happening okay so to upgrade that what we have to do is we as we don't have any connection to the secondary device we are going to the primary device okay and we'll go to the system the firmware and we need we to we just need to browse it okay now here we are not seeing the firmwares because it is not connected to 40 guard and because as it doesn't have the license the proper license it is a evaluation so evaluation will have some kind of restrictions okay so we have to do it manually i've downloaded the firmware from support portal i have covered in last video how to download it okay and uh, we just need to put that particularly so i have put it that it has recognized the 40 os 7.0 which image to be chosen you can go back to the previous video i can uh, link that video down in the i button you can check that out properly like how to choose the image okay and then you can take a backup and upgrade so once we continue here now what happens is the backup has been downloaded okay now if we go to 40 gate 2 now you will be seeing that the 40 gate 2 will go down because it's a secondary one and the 40 gate 1 is the primary one okay so right now it is sending the instruction or maybe he's sending the copy to 40 gate 2 right now that is the reason it is you are seeing some kind of dot 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 okay I cannot even re I cannot go to the page and refresh all those things because it is in process right now. So wait for secondary to restart. Now the send uh, it has sent the information or it has sent that particular image to FortiGate two, and the FortiGate will now reboot basically in some time. Okay. So once it reboots then the primary will get rebooted and then we'll see the upgrade has been completed. So it is all automatic you don't need to do anything we just need to know the concept okay. Now I'm not going into deep how to troubleshoot in between something goes wrong or something is there okay I'm not going in deep because I don't have proper way to diagnose this right now okay maybe in uh, upcoming video if you guys want to know about the deep dive how exactly it is working then i can uh, so right now see please wait the system is getting restarted now okay so again okay, now firmware upgrade is in process in secondary box okay so guys if you want to understand very deeply or go into the debug and all you can comment it i can create another video for that okay because i need to know the audience that whether they are curious to know about the uh, di uh, diagnosis things and all okay so the palo alto secondary device has been updated like it's been rebooted the system is restarting now now once it restarts it sends a signal to the primary saying that i am done with the upgrade please restart yourself like that it is so you can avoid this because it will not happen in the production environment because mostly this is a vm device and it has a limitation to that resources that might be the reason it is showing some kind of error but you can you will not be seeing in the production environment okay so let me log in here so my password is working so okay so system h okay okay h monitor okay so system 
status no not this one get a system status so get system status okay now you can see the version has been changed to this one okay and now wait for prime uh, wait for first secondary to become new primary now it has become the primary one and now the 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 original primary is getting rebooted now okay so as you can see it has been upgraded to 7.0.5 which was our target now the primary is getting down okay it is getting rebooted now so now i can see this min one two three so later now we'll go to the ha now as you can see i80 which was secondary now it has become the primary i have not done that override so it will become the primary and it will be there okay so maybe it has rebooted now give me a minute i'm putting the wrong password here later now this has come up now let's go to ha now you can see 50a it has become the primary one i stopped the video for a while and i have configured it again so uh, the admin override like uh, so right now as you can see the 50a become the primary and i become the secondary okay so this is how the upgrade process has been completed let me show you in the dashboard okay so as you can see it is for 50a and it has been upgraded to 7.0.5 so it's very smooth process you don't need to worry about any other things you have to do it uh, just you have to upload it okay but yeah if you want to troubleshoot it as it is automatic which is instruction sent by 40 gate itself they will be communicating to each other but if you want to uh, do dive deep dive uh, how this ha is communicating if something goes wrong if cable is faulty what will happen something like that so if you want to understand that particularly please do a comment in the comment box so that i can cover that particular things in the upcoming video so guys this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you like it uh, or if you have increased your knowledge please hit the like button okay and uh, if you have uh, any scenario to explain in the comment box you can do that please if you have any suggestion you can also comment in the comment box or else you can send me an email or you can send me a message on instagram or facebook thank you so much for watching and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you guys i'll see you in the next